Hey guys, Bonnie here. Today I want to talk to you about something that's happening to me that's a little bit scary and I'm a little bit freaked out about and it's really important to know about and so stay tuned, we're going to talk all about the big scary C word, cancer. Okay, so before anybody gets the wrong idea or is too freaked out, we're talking about skin cancer and in my case a really, really non-lethal, non-scary kind. It could be way, way worse, but they did find some and these past few months, weeks, I've just been trying to wrap my head around it, trying to figure out all my options, what it means, why I have it, etc, etc. It's been a whirlwind, to say the least. And what with all the problems in the world, I know that mine is so, so, so small. Little teeny thing, little teeny spot that needs to be removed. And as luck would have it, it has to be removed from my face. Of course, right? First time right in the center of my face. But that's the fact, and I wanted to hop on camera here um, just eight hours before I go into the doctor to get it removed um, so you could see a before, and so I can tell you a little bit about the diagnosis and how we got here, and then I will tell you all about the procedure, how it went down, feelings, pain, etc., and show you the healing process. So here we go. Okay, so first off, how did this even get started? Well, a long time ago. I want to say maybe a year ago, could be longer, could be not so long, I really don't remember. I had a spot on my nose that took forever to heal. It was a little spot, a little sore, I want to say it was from a pimple or something, I don't even remember. Scratched at a piece of skin, whatever. So there's this open sore and I just remember it took forever to heal. Nothing catastrophic or groundbreaking, I just remember thinking why is this stupid sore not healing on my face? So fast forward maybe a month or so, it did finally heal and created like a little flesh colored bump. It wasn't red, it wasn't open sore or anything, it was totally healed over, it was just a bump. And every now and again I would kind of rub it and think, what was that, why did it scar? Whatever, didn't think much about it. Something in the back of my mind though did make me a little concerned. I remember having heard in the past that um, skin cancers can manifest themselves in the form of sores that don't heal or take forever to heal. So. That was kind of niggling in the back of my mind. Um, fast forward about a year and I had noticed on a couple of my favorite blogs um, that some people were coming out talking about skin cancer and their experience with it. And all of a sudden I started getting just a little more aware, not really concerned, but just aware that it was something that could happen to me. I have a pretty strong family history of skin cancer. My great grandma had it, my grandma's had it several times, my mom has had it a ton of times, but I always just kind of thought of it as something that happened to people who never wore sunscreen or people who laid out half their life or people who were old, I guess. And I was none of those things. I always wear sunscreen, I never lay out. Um, I'm not old yet. So after reading these blogger stories, I decided, all right, it's time to just go in and get everything checked out. You can go to the dermatologist and just ask for a skin cancer screening. And some places um, do a lot more of these than others. So if you're concerned about it, I would just look around, open Yelp or whatever, and um, ask friends for recommendations. Find a place that specializes in skin cancer and just ask for a full body screen. So I did that and I went in, they strip you down, put a hospital paper robe thingamajiggy on you. And then um, the doctor came in with a little like microscope and just head to toe scanned me, checked any mole or freckle that looked weird, asked me if I had any concerns, etc. Checked everything out, everything looked good. She showed me a couple of freckles that said we should keep an eye on and um, that was about it. And then as she was going to leave, she asked me if I had any concerns and I just said, there's this one spot on my nose. It feels weird to bring up because it's totally healed now, but would you mind taking a look? So she did, looked at it with her special microscope or whatever, said it did not look concerning to her, but it that if it bothered me, they could do a biopsy. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, let's do it. So the biopsy basically means that they come in with this little circular doohickey thing, little blade slicer thing. They put it over the area and just take a little sliver of skin from it. Now first they gave me a bunch of shots to numb it up, so I didn't feel anything. The shots were kind of freaky to get in your nose, but whatever. Um, sliced up a little piece of skin and I was on my way and it healed in probably two weeks, almost completely. Then I get the phone call that, hey, guess what? You were right, it is skin cancer. Um, the type of skin cancer they found on me is called basal cell carcinoma, which if you have to pick a skin cancer, the doctor said that's the one to pick. Um, totally non-lethal, nobody dies from it. It actually doesn't ever spread to other organs or to your bloodstream, so it can't kill you. 
but it does like break down tissue and destroy tissue. And so if I were to just to let it go, it would eventually spread and cause weird things, I guess, I don't know. So in short, I couldn't leave it, I had to get it removed. So there were all sorts of feelings and thoughts going through my mind, as you can imagine. Number one, how is this fair? I wear sunscreen, I don't lay out. You know, clearly I have the coloring of someone who might end up with skin cancer. I'm pale and I have freckles. But um, just kind of felt gypped, right? I'm in my 30s, still trying to enjoy life, feeling young, and now this, lame. In fact, when I went back to chat with the doctor about my upcoming procedure, I looked around the waiting room and everyone there was at least 70 years old, had tanned leathered skin, and you could tell had spent a lot of time in the sun. And I just felt like saying, why am I here? This is not fair. So anyway, when I wrapped my mind around that and realized, fair or not, this was it. I had to figure out what I was gonna do. We talked to the doctor and thankfully he had decided that because of my age and because the spot was right in the middle of my face, that he is actually gonna be doing the removal of the cancer and then he's going to send me directly to a plastic surgeon with the wound open. I just drive right there and then they close me up because a plastic surgeon has a better skill set and can usually end up with a much smaller scar. So that's the plan. That happens in like eight hours. I'm about to go to bed and wake up in the morning and go first thing. Here's hoping that it doesn't take very long because if it takes very long, that means that they have to keep digging. So um, the procedure itself is called a Mohs procedure, M-O-H-S. And what that d means is that I go in, they slice off a tiny little sliver of skin and they immediately analyze it in their mi microscope or whatever. And then they can tell if they've gotten all the cancer because they look for good margins, which means healthy skin around the cancer. If they see that, then they know there's no more cancer anymore. But if they don't, then they go back and take another sliver of skin, analyze it while I wait and back and forth, etc. The benefit to this is that they take the minimal amount of skin because Clearly they're not gonna take more if they're, the cancer's all gone. And also you don't have to keep coming back because they analyze it all right there while you're in the office. So that's good. And then, like I said, afterwards I drive straight to the plastic surgeon, they close it up and then give me instructions on what to expect, how it's gonna heal, how long it's gonna take. So yeah, there's some nerves, some worrying, but here's hoping that I'm in capable hands, that it hasn't gone super deep and that I don't end up with a humongous scar for a super long time, so. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I'm not an expert, but I really wanna share my experience because it was because of other people sharing their experiences that made me go in and get checked out and who knows what would have happened if I'd have let it go a lot longer. So that's it for now. Wish me luck. See you later. <laughs>